All right, guys, so I'm going to tell you, there's been a lot of TLDR going on here in this here, uh, what originally was the no gambling vlog. And um, I guess it's my fault, right? TLDR means too long, didn't read, right? I put this uh, huge story, right? And, and before we continue, every single video and comment I make is for entertainment purposes only and for no other reason. All right. So, the big story, right, describes my issue and what's going on here, right? So, I will now say the big ass issue. Here we go. I've been going to casinos all my adult life, guys, all my adult life. And up to now, um, a while back, right, someone asked me, Hey, Daddy the Medic, how much have you lost over your entire casino gambling history right and I estimated it to be about 250 grand back then 250 grand right and then of course I lost about another 50 grand right and uh, so I'm up to like around 300,000 in losses and it was not okay but it was kind of okay because I lived in New York City at the time right and living in New York City, you know, I, I make okay money, you know, I'm a medic and everything, you know, all that stuff. So every time I lose, I, I get back home and then, uh, let's go uh, that way, it's more shade. And then I make some more money, right? And then so it, historically, it's been okay. And then in about... 2019-ish or something like that, I went off the deep end and gambled more and more. And then I ended up like taking out like a credit card. What is that? Like, uh, you know how you take out cash on the credit card to pay off the markers and things like that. And then I was in debt. And, and then, uh, you know, it, it was not good, guys. It was not good. Right? Because... I tend to chase the money, right? Now, what happened was that after that, right? Then I got a, took it easy for a couple of years, which is actually uh, not to my control, you know, the, uh, the uh, time of 2020, right? So I ended up working a lot more and not even going to the casino. And I built up some savings and repaid my debts and everything. Oh, thank goodness, guys. Right? And then after everything, after the stuff of 2020, uh, I started going to casinos again. And it's the same thing as always, you know? If I win a little, I'm happy I go home. If I lose a little, I end up sitting there until 6 in the morning trying to chase my losses. And I usually end up losing everything, you know? I end up going to the ATM. I end up uh, taking out the markers, you know, and everything like that. Very bad, guys, very bad. But, uh, you know, there's been a lot of people who are asking, eh, Danny Medic, is this just something you're making up, you know, for their views? You know, like, I'll, I'll tell you guys, I got better things to do. You know, I have a food channel that's doing pretty well. If I want the views, I will be making more food videos. Of course I want more views of my real channel, but this is just my miscellaneous channel where I post videos of things that uh, are like just whatever, you know? I just enjoy posting. So yeah, this, this ain't no like uh, made up shtick. Is this some shtick? I, I can't pronounce it, right? It's a shtick, like something you make up, you know, as a ploy or something. I was like, no, what the, you know, why would I? You know, this is ridiculous. You know, this is just, you know, my story of what is happening to me right now, right? So, and uh, obviously, I, in February, I tried to not, uh, actually not just February, for a very long time, I tried to just, usually after I lose everything, I will say, oh, I'm never gonna gamble again. Never gonna gamble again, guys. You know, after I lose everything. You know, and then for a little while, I would not gamble, but then I find myself doing the same thing all over again, right? Now, so uh, uh, the, the February attempt was a flop, 
in early March, I was like, you know what, let me put a video up saying I'm never gambling again. You know, never gambling again. But deep in my heart, what I want to not happen again is like what I've been doing. You know, losing the thousands and thousands of dollars. You know, trying to chase like small stupid losses, right? So I posted that video, then I started making a vlog, and here we have a vlog series. So, like, um, for a while, I, st I was not gambling, you know? And free play is not technically gambling. You know, a lot of people would differ, but I don't want to hear it, guys. I don't want to hear it. Too many people would be like, oh, free play is gambling, free play. Oh, it's playing other people's money, some shit like that. So, no, 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 no. Okay, okay, fine. Whatever your point may be, fine you said it all right right i don't fall under that belief so we'll call it at that no no what's i'm saying all right i'm losing my mind guys that was a common saying that i'm losing it anyway so right i during the the period of time i have gambled so little guys i mean like so minuscule amount compared to what I used to do. I'm a, I am calling this year a success. Guys, I used to bet $125 a hand, you know, playing $25 video poker, you know. And at times I would bet $250 a hand, you know, because I was down and I need to win it back or something like that. I would never start off a gambling trip playing that much, you know. It's not like, oh, I lost 10 grand. Why? I was betting one grand a hand, you know. I only played big after the whole chasing started, right? After I lost 10 bucks and I got to win it back. That's how it escalates for me, right? So I have realized that. And so this year, I'm going to like fix that aspect of my personality to not chase the losses, right? That's what I'm working on now. My last video, I went to put a dollar in. And I, I psych myself up, you know, I'm going to bet a dollar and I'm going to lose a dollar and I'm going to leave without chasing the dollar. You know, I think if I do that enough times, right, you know, like through repetition, it will reprogram my wiring, you know, or some shit like that. All right. So that's my plan now. All right. At first, there was no gambling. I feel like I can hang out in casinos all day and not start gambling. I can do that. I can do that. I might get tempted a little bit, but it's not like, like, look, gambling addiction is a serious thing, right? But different people got different aspects of gambling addiction. There has been a comment saying that gambling addicts would bet about which cockroach runs up, runs up the wall faster or something like that, you know? I have no desire to do that. I don't do sports gambling. I, I don't go online and gamble and, you know, the, my big issue is chasing the losses. I can't help but to chase the losses. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to lose. And then we're not going to chase. Starting with small amounts. Small amounts, guys. That being said, we're over here at the El Cortez. All right. So now I'm not going to bore you with the actual losing of the dollar. Right. But every single day when I'm headed to the bus stop, well, almost every day, right, I would go into the El Cortez and walk out the other side. Right. Because it's easy. And I get to see some stuff and, you know, wave at some people if they, if I see anyone I, you know, recognize or something. So this is the back of the El Cortez. I'm going to go in, lose one dollar, and I'm going to walk, guys. I'm going to walk. Well, I need to psych myself up. I need to psych myself up. All right. So I'm going to psych myself up first, you know, because I tried this the other day. And then the one dollar became two, two became 20, 20 became a, you know, blackjack session. You know, so I can't be having that, right? One dollar and I'm going to walk to the bus stop because I'm going to the NAB convention, right? The NAB convention, the kidnapping convention. All right, so one dollar, I'm going to walk. One dollar, I'm going to walk. Just one dollar, I'm going to walk to the other side and we'll pick it up from there. One dollar, guys. One dollar lost and walking. I ain't going to chase. I ain't going to put more than a dollar. I got a wallet full of money. I got my ATM card with me. I got everything that I can, you know, it can go to the south end like really quick. But I'm just going to do one dollar at the uh, video poker machine. And I'm going to get the F out of here to the bus stop. One dollar, guys. One dollar. Let's go. One dollar. 
I don't think they allow filming inside. One dollar. I'm going to walk. Okay guys, so I did it. I did it the first time ever. Lost the dollar and I got up and I left. Boy, but I'll tell you guys, I did feel it in my gut. I wanted to put another dollar in so badly. Ooh. All right, so now I'm headed to the NAB convention. I mean like the feeling it's getting like less and less as, as, as more time goes by after I had gotten up, you know. I, I, I walked around a little bit in the casino. I finished off my Heineken C row. And uh, basically that's it. Lost the buck, guys. All right. And I'm going to do this a hundred times. That's going to cost me a hundred bucks. Now I'm having second thoughts. Maybe I should just abandon this whole scheme altogether and save the $99 and do something else with it. I don't know, guys. I don't know. The cost of uh, experimentation. Wow, it's really bright out here. All right, thanks for watching. And uh, I'll post more when I have more.